Do I feel bad? No, I don't. Like, I don't feel bad. I don't feel guilty, which is why I'm sharing this because there was a time where I, I would feel so guilty and like maybe even a little embarrassed that I had allowed, allowed myself to gain weight. But now knowing what I know now after therapy and after being on this journey for as long as I have, I've learned that when I have trauma or stress, my body holds weight. And in some odd way, it's kind of like its way of protecting me. The reason why I want to do this video is because there have been times before where I've gone through really hard and rough seasons in my life. And I can recall where I felt like you know what, this journey, I can't focus on the whole weight loss thing right now. I can't focus on that and also deal with everything else that's happening in my life. But I just wanna share with you guys that now I'm at a point to where I know, but I have to do the things that make me feel good in order to deal with everything else that's going on in life right now. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, March 19th, and we're gonna do this. So in today's video, I think I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit about like how my body responds to trauma and stress. And also I wanna share with you guys, I finally did a weigh-in this morning because last week, like I, the kids were on spring break and I knew I was not gonna do a weigh-in. But then I also missed the weigh in the week before uploading the video. I hadn't like gained weight or anything, but I didn't get the opportunity to film and edit a video. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this video. Honestly, if you're in a hurry, if you're just wanting a quick video, this is not the one because I just need to, I just want to chat a little bit for, with you guys. I've had some time to, first let's talk about this. So basically what happened was like the perfect storm it really was like the perfect storm as far as like weight gain goes for me and my body so first i want to share with you guys let's just go ahead and do the weigh-in you see i'm here in my robe i just took a shower and i just did my weigh-in this morning and i'm going to go ahead and put that in first and then if you're interested stay tuned maybe i'll do like a full week's worth and like show you guys where i started this week and then also where i finished for the week but we'll see so i'll go ahead and put it in here i just weighed in this morning and i weighed in at 228.0 pounds yes so in comparison to last week well the last weigh in i think that's a gain of like 11 pounds <laughs> i think it's a gain of 11 pounds and i just want to share with you guys so you guys saw like in one of my videos before i had shared one of my mentors had passed away um, from pancreatic cancer well she was diagnosed in January and then like you see like the short time frame in which that happened so there really was not a lot of time to there just wasn't a lot of time to even wrap my mind around like the diagnosis and then also like her passing away but I do feel that I was able to handle that like in in a healthy way I feel like I was able to handle it in a healthy way um, one second, my dog's barking. Okay, I'm back. So then the following week, so the following week, someone like extremely close to me, like extremely close to me. And like, not just him, but like the entire family. And it's also my dad's best friend. He passed away suddenly. It was sudden. So that was pretty tough. That knocked me on my butt. Like, as a matter of fact, that happened and then i was still like you know trying to continue going on like with work and everything and um sometimes when people like extremely close to me pass away like i've learned that my coping mechanism is to basically like try to stay as busy as i can so that that way i don't have to focus on it until i'm ready um it works to a certain extent but what happened was that it actually like collided with the kids also being off from school on spring break, which is when I had already said, like whenever the kids are on spring break, cause I was already having like mom, the mom guilt because I didn't take that week off. And I was starting to feel a little bad because they would just be like home by themselves. And then right now in our house, it's what we call hustle season where 
my husband and I are both working like a lot because we do have some goals that we're working on. But anyways, so I had already told myself that I would just kind of like eat whatever I wanted to eat. Like during that week, I would just, you know, I would still fast, but I would just eat like whatever, right? Um, kind of like a vacation from the way that I typically eat. So needless to say, my dad's best friend passed away and I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because I am kind of like all over the place. But um, so my dad's best friend passed away and with that comes, so his parents, like, so I didn't really like share a lot about this beforehand because the family didn't really share. And I feel like out of respect, you know, like it's not your business to talk about other people's story. But um, his parents, I actually gave my life to Christ like under their ministry. And his parents and even like the entire family, but like his parents, they always believed in me like when I was a kid. And like they, especially his dad, like his dad believed in me like way more than I believed in myself. You know how like sometimes... I mean, we're all adults now, but like you see kids, like you see certain kids and you know that there's something special about that child and like you just continue to pour into them and um, you just pour into their lives. Like you pray over their lives, you cover them and you just continue to pour into them and like that's what his father did for me. And then he did the same thing, like the entire family. So when he passed away that like just kind of like rocked my world and then there's also this thing that you know when your parents best friend passed away you can't help but like start thinking about the mortality of your own parents you know like they're the same age like you just you just can't it's nothing that you expect at this age like my father is 20 years older than me so I don't know that kind of that rocked my world and then um during that week so we had spring break and then we had instagram reels like acting a fool like i wanted to share but then like it wasn't showing captions and stuff so it was just kind of like after a while i got frustrated but then i was like you know what maybe this is god's way of like just helping you to just like not be front facing because sometimes like i am I know for myself that I'm an empath and I know that I tend to feel things a lot deeper than most people do and my goal is always to process and not bleed like I don't want to bleed on my audience I don't want to bleed on to you guys I want to be able to come to you guys from a place of like I want to heal or at least like start the healing process myself and then bring um, share with you because I feel that that's just a little bit more productive um, so yeah, I was like, you know what, maybe God's just trying to tell you, like, girl, no, like, you don't need to be front-facing, you need to, like, deal with your own stuff, and then you can come back and share in a positive way, which is exactly what has, what has happened here. Okay, so we've got eating basically whatever I wanted, um, which means for me that whenever I incorporate more carbs, and this just helped me to be even more aware of it, Whenever I incorporate more carbs or sugar, um, my fasting is not as long. Like I'm not able to sustain my fast as long as, you know, as long as I would like, like 16 hours, 20 hours, that is not happening. If I eat sugar or a an excessive amount of carbs, which is interesting because I had the opportunity to learn um, over the last week that I kind of do well with like rice and potatoes, but pasta is definitely a no-no for me. Um, which is sometimes it's good sometimes it's good to step away from what you've always done to kind of like experiment and see you know here I am I am you know like almost two years into my journey like so like let's try to introduce a few more foods and like see what happens and so yeah rice potatoes great pasta no okay so we had that and then also there has been a lot of things going on with work which professionally because i do consider myself to be a professional i just have not shared here on this platform but now i feel like as of friday i feel like my thoughts are all sorted out and um i know what moves i plan or intend to make or not make you know so that's that's been good because honestly i was okay so i'll just share a little bit so like honestly i really didn't know if i was going to stay at my full-time job like there was just 
there are things happening to where I didn't know, but now I know. So that's sorted out. And I'm a planner. So when I don't have a plan, I feel a little, eh. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can relate to that or not. But um, now I know I'm going to stay. Um, so yeah, so I had that two deaths back actually three but two that rocked me and then the whole spring break thing kids are home all day oh and then this is gonna sound like so privileged or whatever but i don't care i'm just sharing here because i worked my butt off to get to certain points of where i am now so um our housekeeper she got sick and she wasn't able to come um this week which again probably sounds like so freaking privileged but you know of all weeks like spring break where the kids are home all day and my house is filthy right now so sometimes people are like how do you do it all i don't do it all like i have a housekeeper that comes once a week and oh my gosh we love her so much and it's not her fault she got sick you know but but it was one of those things like where i'm sure she like woke up and did not feel well so I didn't know, like if I had known ahead of time, then I could have like, you know, planned other things along the way. And like, yes, we did have the kids like clean, but it's not the same. Like she's good, she's really good. Uh, it's not the same. So that also happened. And it was just the perfect storm. I'm rambling, I'm telling you guys, I'm sharing, but it was literally the perfect storm. All of that happened. And yeah, so this morning, and I was not thinking about my weight. I, and I worked a lot, like I even worked, I went to the funeral yesterday, um, which started at 11, and then I left the funeral at 1.53, and then I was at my first patient at 3 o'clock. So it's kind of like there's just been a lot. There's been a lot going on right now. So I finally was like, girl, okay, you need to check in with where you are with your weight, and I'm using today as a day. You, you guys see it's currently it's 7.55. I am not usually in a robe at 7.55. I'm usually like dressed, moving around, getting stuff done. Um, but you need to see how much you weigh. And I weighed in this morning and you guys saw I'm currently 228.0 pounds, which basically means I've gained 11 pounds over the last week. The reason why I want to do this video is because there have been times before where I've gone through really hard and rough seasons in my life and I can recall where I felt like you know what this journey I can't focus on the whole weight loss thing right now I can't focus on that and also deal with everything else that's happening in my life but I just want to share with you guys that now I'm at a point to where I can like put it on the back burner for a week but I know that I have to eat well and I have to continue working out, which I never stop working out. I continue with that. Um, but I have to do the things that make me feel good in order to deal with everything else that's going on in life right now. So if you guys are ever having a hard time, you know, feel free to kind of give yourself a little bit of grace and maybe take a week, two weeks, a month, however long you feel that you need, but just don't stop. Like, what I did was I continued to get my workouts in because I know that like working out definitely helps me feel a whole lot better. But I knew, I knew that I couldn't throw the entire plan away because starting over from ground zero is really hard. So what I did was at least maintain my workouts and then I also, I still fasted but there were days where I only fasted for like 10 hours or you know, like I didn't close my rings. This one was only seven hours. You probably can't see it. But I still kept the practice of hitting start and stop on my fasting app. I didn't break the practice. So that's kind of like what I'm trying to say is do what you need to do, but try not to throw it away completely. And if you do, then try to come back to it as soon as you can. And this is not a pity post. Like I don't want you guys to, I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me. Like I'm not coming at you in a way of like, oh my God, my life is so horrible because it's not. Actually, I'm very blessed. Like even my dad's best friend that passed away, I am extremely blessed to even have known him and his family. And like, I am extremely blessed for like the laughs and there's so much I could say, you know? And like, if there was even a point where we lived like next door to them and I can't explain what it's like to have those male figures in your life. I don't know, I can't really explain. I always say sometimes that 
the number one privilege that I've had in my life growing up is love, like love from my family, from my community. But anyways, in this video, what I wanna share with you guys, um, if you're interested is, I'm gonna take you along through the week and we'll do daily weigh-ins and see how much closer to 217 I can get. I feel that I can definitely shed five pounds because this is not all like fat, like a lot of this is just water weight. Um, but I feel that getting back to my healthy habits, I'll be able to at least lose the majority of the weight. So I don't know if I'm gonna break this video down and like do half a week at a time or if I'm gonna do the entire week because it's gonna be too long. I don't know, but if this is something that you guys would enjoy, then please keep watching. And I can even see here, you know, cheeks all puffy. But do I feel bad? No, I don't. Like I don't feel bad, I don't feel guilty, which is why I'm sharing this because there was a time where I, I would feel so guilty and like maybe even a little embarrassed that I had allowed, allowed myself to gain weight, but now knowing what I know now after therapy and after being on this journey for as long as I have, I've learned that when I have trauma or stress, my body holds weight. And in some odd way, it's kind of like its way of protecting me. But I don't know, it was like after I went to the service yesterday, after I went to the funeral, and then when I was working and then I came home and through prayer and again this morning like through prayer I've just been able to release a lot of it which is why I'm now filming this video and I now feel that I'm in a place of where I can share in a way that it could be helpful. So yeah I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I have here my iPad because I now you guys used to see where I use my planner all the time I now use Google Task to uh, keep track of everything I need to do for the day. So I need to do that. And then also I need to update my wellness planner. And I'll keep you guys posted. This is already a 14, 15 minute long video. I think I'm gonna break this video up. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll probably break this up into, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'll probably share each day. That's a lot, Felicia. <laughs> Uh, I kind of feel like I owe it to you guys because I've been MIA. I think I could do that. I can, I can share five minute videos each day. <laughs> That's what we'll do. I'll share, dang, yeah, I'll share five minute videos each day. All right, so today is Sunday. We're starting the day at 228 pounds and I'll be sure to check in tomorrow. All right, so yes, I did have the opportunity to think about it before editing this video and yeah, I think it'll be fun. What I'll do is I'll film each day. So today I'll film like how my day goes today and then tomorrow morning we'll do a weigh-in and then I'll upload Monday's weigh-in on Monday. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Like just, let's just see, let's see how the week goes. So yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And again, I promise I'll be here every day unless something really, really, really glitchy happens with work. So even if it's just to show you the weigh-in, I'll be here every day this week. Take care guys, talk to you soon. Bye.